Hey guys, it's your boy Fresco. Welcome to the Fresco Flow. So I want you to come up to the top of your mat in a nice comfortable seated position. If you have a mudra, feel free to take your mudra. And I'm going to guide you through our breathing technique today. But before we do that, I want you to take a big inhale and just let it go. Let all of your thoughts of the day go. Let it go and melt into your mat. This is your time. We're going to be using a breathing technique today. We're going to be breathing in through the nose, nice and deep. And we're going to be letting it out from the back of the throat. Kind of pulling it through, envision if you have a mirror in front of you, that you're kind of fogging it up. Go again. Let it out. There should be like a snoring sound, kind of, or like the ocean at night. And we're going to be doing that technique throughout the practice unless I otherwise cue it out for you. Let's go ahead and roll over our knees. And I feel personally that this is a rite of passage. So I need permission from Morty okay. to go into the pose of the child. Yes, you have permission. <laughs> Let's roll over our knees and go into child's pose. Continue breathing. And walk your left hand over to the right on top of your palm. And breathe. Let's go to the center. And walk it up over to the left side. Right hand on top of the palm. And option to bring your ear down to the mat. And continue to breathe. Remember, you can always summon up child's pose through your practice if you need. A little breather. Let's bring it back to center and we're going to go into tabletop. So your hands are down underneath your shoulders, your knees or are under your thighs and your gaze in between your hands. Gently start to rock it out side to side, kind of stretch into your body a little bit. If anything ails you, check in with that for a second. We're going to drop the belly, take a big inhale in and look up into our cat cows. Exhale round, chin to chest, and go again. Drop the belly, inhale, look forward and up for cow, and round out to your back for cat. Go again at your own pace with a few of these. Inhale, look up. Exhale round, chin to chest. One more time, exhale, inhale, look up, and exhale, round. We're going to take it, our knees in a little closer, and let's rock it out into dancing lion. So your palms are pressing away from the mat. You get a nice deep undulation into the spine, and you're adding some neck rolls into your dancing lion. Continue to breathe at your own pace here. All right, if you've taken your dancing line in one direction, rock it out in the other direction. There you go, get deep in those undulations. All right, from here we're going to come back to center. We're going to tuck our, tuck our toes and we're going to go into our first down dog of the day. Got a few breaths here. Take a deep breath in and let it out. One more just like that. Deep breath in and sigh it out. All right, let's tippy toe to the top of the mat. Grab opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy for ragdoll. Gently swaying your body from side to side. Maybe nodding your head out, yes. Maybe nodding it out, no. Go ahead, just like that. Continue breathing. Shake your head, yes. Nod it out, no. And on your next exhale, release your hands down to the mat. And we're going to rise up for our sun A's. Bring your hands to heart center. Reach up and back bend, bow forward, take a halfway lift, inhale, lower down into your vinyasa. 
got upward dog inhaling and downward dog exhaling. Got a couple of breaths here. Take a big breath in. Stick out your tongue, cross your eyes and lines, breath it out. One more, just like that. Big breath in. Stick out your tongue, cross your eyes. Line of breath. Look forward, bend your knees and take it to the top. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Reach up, back bend. Hands to heart, center. Go again, Tadasana. Reach up, back bend. Bow forward. Take a big inhale in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant it back. Take it back, Vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling and downward dog exhaling. All right, you got a couple of breaths here. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in and let it out. All right, look forward and take it to the top. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Reach up nice and tall. Back bend. Hands to heart center for another sun A. Go again to Dasana. Reach up and back bend. Bow forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Take it back down to Vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling and downward dog exhaling. All right, take a big breath in and let it go. Bend your knees, look forward and take it to the top. Take a halfway lift, inhale, exhale to chair pose. Your arms are high, your tailbone is sinking. And you're going to be here for five breaths. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Sit a little lower. Take your hands and arms behind your ears. Sink a little lower. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Fold forward. Take a halfway lift. Inhale. Plant your hands. Take it back. And toss up. Downward dog. Excuse me. Upward dog. Inhaling. And downward dog, exhale. Got a couple of breaths here. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Nice breathing, y'all. Look forward. Bend your knees and step it through for your warrior one. Reach high and back bend. And let's take it back down. Float that right leg. And vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling and downward dog exhaling. Take a couple breaths here. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, look forward, step it through left side, warrior one. Arms are reaching high to the sky, slight back bend, let's take it back down, float that left leg, and vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling, and downward dog exhaling. All right, walk it out. Continue to breathe, deep breath in, and side out. One more, just like that. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Look forward, bend your knees, take it to the top, chair pose. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Reach up nice and tall. Your gaze is between your thumbs and you're sinking down a little bit lower. Get those knees tight and close. Keep breathing for five. Breathing for four, sink a little lower. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. On your exhale, full forward. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Plant your hands and take it back, Vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling. And downward dog exhaling. 
All right, walk it out. You got a few breaths here. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, let's take an inhale into our warrior one. Right foot, step it through. Your arms are high to the sky. Your back leg is planted at a 45 degree angle. And your knee is over your ankle. You got a few breaths here. Think of this pose as a prayer pose. Maybe it's a gratitude for something or someone. Breathing for four. Breathing for three, sink the tail down a little bit lower and make it through your spine. Breathing for two, and breathing for one. On your exhale, let's open it up into warrior two. Your arms are in line. You have a heel to arch alignment with the foot. And you got five breaths here. Breathing for five. You want to pinch your shoulder blades together like there's a marble in between them. Breathing for four. Roll your shoulders down the back. Breathing for three. Pull that knee slightly out to the right. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. On your exhale, flip your palm and open it up into reverse warrior. Your top, top arm is back. Your left arm is down your thigh with an option to half bind. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Take your right hand down outside of your right foot. Pick up the back leg. We're going into half moon. So spider up on those fingers. And you have five breaths here. Breathing for five. Your gaze is up at your fingers and make sure you're flexing through the back foot and that top leg is elevated. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Or take that hip, the top hip away from your body. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Bring the left hand down inside your right foot, back leg down, and your right hand up to the sky into our lunge twist. Got a few breaths here. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Level off at those hips. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Bring the right hand down. Float your right leg back. And take it down to vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling. And downward dog exhaling. We've got a few breaths here. Walk it out if you need to. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Let's do a lion's breath on this one. Big breath in. Stick out your tongue and cross your eyes. Take a big breath in and let it go. All right, other side, look forward. Left leg, step it through, warrior one. Your arms are high to the sky and your back foot is planted, planted and rounded at a 45 degree angle. You got five breaths here, breathing for five. Your spine is lengthening, your tailbone is sinking. We maybe focus back on that intention. Breathing for four. Breathing for three, pull that left knee out slightly. Breathing for two, and breathing for one. On your exhale, go into your warrior two. Your gaze is out of your thumbs, your arms are in line. And once again, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, pinching that marble in between them. You got five breaths here, breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing 
for three, roll those shoulders down the back, breathing for two, and breathing for one. On your exhale, reverse your warrior. Your top arm is back, and your right arm is down your leg, again, with an option to bind, half bind. Breathing for five, breathing for four, breathing for three, breathing for two, and breathing for one. On your exhale, lower that left hand down, outside your left foot, spider up on your fingertips, pick up the back leg and your right arm into your lunge twist. Breathing for five. Flex to the back foot and elevate that leg above your hip. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. We're in half moon, actually. I just realized that. <laughs> Not lunge twist. But guess what? We're exhaling here. Bring the right hand down. <laughs> Bring the right hand down. Bring your right hand down into your lunge twist. Your left hand goes up. And you have five breaths here. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Hug that knee into your body a little bit more. Breathing for three. Your gaze is over your hand. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Bring the left hand down. Sweep the left leg back and go into your vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling and downward dog exhaling. You have five breaths here. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Let's inhale our right leg up for three-legged dog. Bend your knee and open up the hip and do some circles into your hip. Circle in the other direction. All right, inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow. Three-legged dog. Knee to nose, core plank. Three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow, and drop it into your pigeon. So you want that right leg at a 45 degree angle. And you're gonna lengthen forward, and keep your head focused forward. We're gonna be here for five long breaths. Breathing for five. There's an option to grab your back leg if it's in your practice. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, gently come up. Take that right leg back, shake it out, and walk it out. And when you're ready, ripple forward, lower down, vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling, and downward dog exhaling. All right, we got a couple breaths here. Let's take a big breath in, and side out. Big breath in, and side out. Look forward. Inhale that left leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee and open it up at the hip. Do some circles into that hip. Take those circles in the other direction. And let's go. Inhale that left leg high to three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow. Three-legged dog. Knee to nose, core plank. Three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, three-legged dog. 
left knee to left elbow, hold, and drop it into pigeon. And once again, friendly reminder, your front leg's at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna lengthen forward and take your chin to your shin. And continue to breathe. We have five long breaths here. Once again, you want to take that back leg option. Go for it. Try it out. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, we're going to take our left leg back, shake it out, walk it out, and we're going to take a quick vinyasa. Lower down, upward dog, inhaling, and downward dog, exhaling. Take a couple of breaths here, a big breath in and let it go. One more time, big breath in, and let it go. Look forward and jump into a seated at the top of your mat. We're gonna go into Dandasana and Paschimottanasana. So lengthen your legs out in front of you, press your feet firmly into the mat, plant your hands down next to you, and take a big inhale and push away from your mat. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, lean forward, grab your big toes with your peace finger. We're going into Pashimo. Tanasana. Take a big breath, tuck your belly, and lean into that stretch. Breathing for five. If you want to go deeper, there's an option to wrap your hands around your feet. I'm going to opt out. And if you want to go deeper than that, you can grab your wrists when your hands are wrapped around. Breathing for three. Breathing for two, continue to fold. And breathing for one. All right, we're going to take a vinyasa. So plant your hands, take it back, and vinyasa. Upward dog inhaling, and downward dog exhaling. Breathing for five. Breathing for four, breathing for three, breathing for two, and breathing for one. We're going to look forward and jump into a seated. We're going to lengthen out plaques. We're going to plant our feet hip distance apart. Our hands are by our sides, and we're going to press our pelvic area off of the floor. And go. Reverse the tabletop, Purvottanasana. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. If you like to get in a cramp, don't be afraid to stretch out your left leg. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Gently lower back down. Rock and roll. On your third rock. Cross your ankles and take your vinyasa. Lowering down, upward dog inhale, and downward dog exhale. Look forward, bend your knees, jump into a seated. Take your legs out in front of you and gently lower down one vertebrae at a time for five, for four. For three, for two, and for one. All right, let's take it to the bridge. Bridges or wheels. 
So plant your feet, put your hands beneath you on your side. If you need a block for more support, you can stick it under your sacrum. All right. And we're going to breathe for five here. Lift off. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Lift a little higher. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Gently lower down. If you have that block, be mindful of it. Wag your knees from side to side. And guess what? We're going to do another one. This time, I'm going to do it in wheel. If you're going to do wheel, have your hands by your ears and your fingers fanned out towards the edges of your mat. And lift off. Bridge or wheel. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Try to get a little higher. Maybe walk your feet in towards your glutes. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Gently lower down. Chin to your chest. Protect your neck. And wag your knees from side to side. We're going to do one more. Your option, bridge or wheel, whatever you like. Plant your feet, plant your hands, and press off. Lift that pelvis. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Gently lower down. Wag your knees from side to side. And I got a little treat for you. It's called Happy Baby. Who doesn't love Happy Baby? So grab the outside edges of your feet. Pull your knees down towards the earth. And gently rock from side to side. And keep breathing. Hands up, legs up, going into sleeping tiger. Your legs are outstretched and your arms are outstretched as well. Your gaze can be past your fingers. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. All right, gain a little momentum. And let's take it back into shoulder stand. For five. For four, press those arms and shoulders into your mat for support. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Let's take it to plow. So gently rock back. And remember to protect your neck. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Go back a little bit more. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. And breathing for one. Gently lower down for a break of time. Again, be mindful that you're using a block. Gently wag your knees from side to side. When you're ready, drop your knees to the right side for an easy twist. And looking over your left shoulder. Take a big breath in, melt into your mat, let it out. Be heavy, sink into the earth. When you're ready, bring it back to center. Wag your knees. And we're going to drop it on to the left side. Drop those knees to the left. Right arm outstretched with your gaze over your shoulder and down your arms. Go easy, do nothing, just stretch and melt into your mat. All right, when you're ready, bring it to center. We're gonna squeeze ourselves into a ball. That's fun. 
Take a big inhale, biggest one of the day. Hold it. Take another little inhale. Squeeze yourself and release into Shavasana. Towel off, grab yourself a little drink, do some housekeeping, and just get into your mat. This is your reward. You all have earned it. I'll guide you back when it's time. Gently start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Maybe rock your head from side to side. Maybe option to stretch your arm side overhead like in the morning, all the way down your toes. When you're ready, let you bring your knees in and drop it to the right side for the pose of the feet. <laughs> Ready, come up to the top of your mat with your hands on your knees. Do whatever you like here. Hands to heart center. Hands to the third eye. The divine light in me honors the divine light in each and every one of you. I'm extremely humbled for the gratitude and praise for all of us. Together we all say, Namaste. Namaste.